Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you are having a beautiful and an amazing day. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for all of your love and support. I really appreciate it. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Sagittarius. Um, Something is ending. If you've been under any type of crown chakra, mind control, manipulation, whether you knew it or you're coming into the awareness of it now, that's ending. Queen of Cups here, your emotions, moods, something could have been off here. Um, this could have just a lot to do with the, the, the different transits and things that are happening in the collective energy. But... You are about to come into a lot of success, clarity. You're going to get offers. You have Page of Pentacles and the Page of Cups here. So something that brings about security and stability, as well as something here that brings about emotional fulfillment. The pages, though, it's not so much as whatever these things are that they are small. These things, they... They're starting off small, but they're going to quickly grow. Ooh, bottom of the deck, the lovers. And here's the king of pentacles. Yeah, do not be deceived by something appearing small. It, it's, it's, it's certainly not insignificant. The page of pentacles and the page of cups. Yeah, the moon. Something here is an illusion. There is an illusion that's hiding a big offer. Wow. This fog, this haziness, th this confusion, this illusion, this subconscious blockage, this fear, um, limiting beliefs, whether it's your own or it's being projected onto you, you think that it's your own, it's standing in the way of an Ace of Cups. You are looking at something right now, or this could be someone you're dealing with, and you may be worried that something is insignificant. Oh, you know, I don't know if I should take that job offer. You know, I don't really know if I should go on that date or if I should start that friendship. You haven't, this pages, you have a clean slate here. You get to build something exactly the way that you want. And this page of pentacles is actually going to quickly turn into, oh, look at this, y'all. Look, look, oh my gosh, hold on, wait. Page of pentacles, king of pentacles, okay? Boom. Page of pentacles, king of pentacles, progress, okay? Page of cups, queen of cups, progress. The lovers, six of wands, success. Illusions. Shadow work. Here's the illusions. Here's the shadow work and the healing. Here's the offer. There's two. Th this is two people. Okay, now I see why they told me no. So there was a message here. Two people could be coming together and you both. For some, you and another person could have children. Or you both want to have children. But with this king and queen... King of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Page of Cups, Page of Pentacles. These two people are opposites. But what I want to do is this. This King of Pentacles is about to offer love, offer their heart to this Queen of Cups. This Queen of Cups is going to offer something that is going to be stable. Long term. So this masculine has not truly offered their heart in this way before. And this queen of pentacles has perhaps, I'm sorry, queen of cups, divine feminine energy has not fully opened their heart to the point where they've allowed themselves to share their life to the point where it can actually grow and expand and evolve with someone before. 
But see, what is happening here is within the next six weeks, six months for some of you, you have great victory and success. There are two people here. Opposites are attracting. This here is small right now. But also, too, with this moon card being here and the seven of cups, this is two people who are coming together who both right now have maybe options, limiting beliefs, illusions. You could be reparenting yourself. You could be just making some major shifts and changes these are two people here even in this car who are both stripping down naked and they are getting to the truth of what lies beneath all of these illusions so that they can actually have an offer they can have security and stability together this is two people who are healing their inner child that's why the two of you are bringing your inner child for some of you you and another person are bringing actual children and this could be a blended family type situation but for some of you you and your you and another person are both bringing your wounded inner child to the table this connection is showing you that there's illusions here around your your mind when it comes to love when it comes to security stability how you de define happiness joy peace success it's these illusions here i'm going to look into this but the shadow work here something here it's fruitful it's abundant it is going to work wow you just need to take action right now and allow yourself look to have this tower this tower here is this epiphany about these illusions. Nine of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands. I can tell you two different illusions. Wow. Sheesh. Somebody has had a big illusion about success. Partnerships. And I feel like this, this may be the feminine. The Ten of Pentacles is here with the High Priestess. The Devil is here. And then the Ace of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. Here is a star. Justice. Healing. From the Ten of Swords. There is a Devil that has been standing in between your uh, intuition, your spirituality, your gifts, your talents. Your abilities. This is a this devil though doesn't necessarily have to be another person. This is a mindset. You're you, you could be chained to some type of outdated belief. It's keeping you from taking action and being passionate about being who you truly are. This is when imposter syndrome shows up. For some, it's a family secret of some sort. Or a family curse, hex, burden that you're carrying. It is. It has become like a, a, a chain around your, your mind. Where until you heal it, you won't receive justice. You're, you're constantly going into these ten of swords situations. Or you are draining yourself or drowning yourself by working. Perhaps... There's a lot here about success. You have the Eight of Pentacles here, the Nine of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles. But there is a partnership here that's very shady that you need to put an end to. And you may find out very soon, Nine of Swords, that a lot of your stress, your fear, your anxiety, and the issues, the obstacles, and challenges of why you're not getting to the next level it's because this King of Wands is either around you or in the background causing chaos and conflict, trying to keep you from having a peaceful resolution, a happy home, harmony, tranquility, and all things great with someone who is divinely guided. The King of Wands is out here and the Temperance. Sagittarius energy heavy. This King of Wands could be another fire sign. It doesn't have to be a fire sign. But someone here is upset about you having this new beginning. And they are gatekeeping your love life and your finances here. See, what's standing between this high priestess and this new passion, new beginning is this, this karmic connection. It's a mindset because I don't want to put all the blame on another person. It's the high, it's your mindset, divine feminine, masculine, whomever I'm talking to. It's your mindset 
but you have perhaps gotten this mindset due to having PTSD from dealing with this devil, dealing with this king of wands here who is creating chaos and conflict. Somebody is in the background constantly sending you chaos and conflict. Why? Because the truth is that everything is actually okay. Spirit is trying to get you to, to know that, yeah, you're going from the nine of pentacles to the ten of pentacles. You are receiving justice for this deception and this betrayal, which is this. This king of wands, five of wands here that's constantly stabbing you in the back in the background. You're going to receive justice for this. And your justice is coming in the form of this amazing offer here that brings security and stability and a lot of healing. You're going to go from being single and independent to... uh being in a, a, a long-term stable committed relationship and i do feel that it's going to be very abundant and the star is here wow eight of pentacles you worked a long time on this so you may have been thinking like goodness where is where is my my blessings or where is my good luck it's coming jupiter is in taurus right now it's coming but see, what was, what has been hidden is the fact that this stress and anxiety is coming because here's the mindset. You keep looking back or you have a fear of repeating anything that could bring this to you again. You are, you're, you're somebody, this is like PTSD narcissistic abuse ptsd you're so afraid of history repeating itself that if you're not careful it, it's it'll repeat itself and this is the illusion here that you have to move forward by healing the inner child somebody has done something to you and you haven't forgotten it you never will forget it but you haven't fully forgiven it or let it go And this person is in the background like, ha, ha, ha. They, they're they happy to know that they're getting away with this. Because you're being left out in the cold from having true happiness. Every time you get to true happiness, you run into the three of swords. This is what the tower is coming in to, to show you. You are always chosen. You're the golden child, you're the generational curse breaker, the legacy builder, whatever great name you want to give to yourself, you do hold the gift and the power. You have it. But something in the background, and this could, like I said, the hierophant is morals, values, beliefs. Somebody here, because of what you have coming, you saw the eight, nine, ten of pentacles. Something is happening in divine order, in divine timing, and it has everything to do with a very successful partnership that I do feel is going to bring about a lot of blessings and abundance. It's it's two people here. This is most likely like an actual twin flame connection for sure. You've had so many different things working against you, and I feel like you are fighting against with this devil people as well as entities and principalities groups you're you're fighting quite the battle but what it's doing is it's helping you to grow and heal your person also i don't know if your person is as spiritually inclined or aware as you are they could be taking the first steps to learning more about these epiphanies and, and revelations about how or why the two of you are coming together or why things are the way that they are but the five of swords somebody here is constantly literally trying to get away with murder and something when i say getting away with murder, somebody here is trying to <laughs> cause endings for you and they do this real in a real sneaky way they could even work with other people to do this. You have the Queen of Pentacles here and the Queen of Wands with the King of Swords. The Four of Swords, Four of Cups. This is those three people. Look at this. Death, Three of Pentacles. 
Here they are. The Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, and the King of Swords. You're the Queen of Cups. You don't have to be a water sign. But here's these three people. They're collaborating and working against you. Here they are once again. You don't want anything to do with these three people because you have an offer. Your offer is here is this Ace of Pentacles. So for some of you, this is a friend, a family member, and an ex-lover. God is, is showing you right now that you have enemies. You have snakes in your account that you must cut the head off of in order to receive this blessing. So yeah, you're going through all these spiritual battles because you have to get these people out of the way. Something is being offered to you so you can no longer look at the injustices that have been done against you by these people. That is the reason why the high priestess is not having this passion new beginning as quickly as you would like. You need it's, it's three, maybe even more people, but there's three significant people that you need to forgive. Four of swords is here. So that you can move on from the heartache and the pain and the suffering and you can rest, retreat and fully heal. You need to find some kind of peace and solace here. These three people. Um, it's King of Swords, King of Wands. This is somebody here who will take action quickly to um, cause issues in your life. They don't care. King of Swords here. And he already came as a King of Wands. He's orchestrating all this drama in the background. I just did a read where I was talking about a masculine who's married and has a mistress and they're doing spell work against someone. This is a similar situation. But for some of you, like I said before, you have a family member, a lover, and a friend. This Queen of Wands could be a friend. This Queen of Pentacles could be a matriarch, a mother figure around you. Doesn't have to be your biological mother. And then you have a King of Swords here, an extremely narcissistic, um, scorned lover. This Queen of Pentacles, for some of you, if it for everybody it's not family. I just heard for some of this Queen of Pentacles, this could be someone that works with you. Someone is competing with you. And all of these people have at some point decided to try to hex you, block you, curse you, um, assassinate your character. They've, they've done all of this, but it was all part of the plan. For you to learn exactly who you are, you had to go through these things to learn the lessons and gain the wisdom so that, yes, for it was for the sake of your awakening. Because here you need to know that you're always kept and carried. Everything is fine. You're still going to have something here to celebrate. Seven of Pentacles. You may be running out of patience at this time, but look, three of wands, it's coming in. Let me see. You have a copycat in your energy. Somebody who's trying to be like you. This could be, like I said, again, um, a friend, family member, somebody trying to be like you. Or this could be the lover of an ex-lover of yours trying to be. Somebody is trying to copy your energy. Because, again, people, they want what you. People want what you have, but they also want whatever you are about to receive altering your values and morals on making life decisions that's the principality you've already decided what you want in life and you have something or someone that is trying to convince you that no that's not what you want no you you don't want that job you don't want you don't want their relationship they're they're going to keep doing this because you're so close to receiving your justice And as long as you listen to these naysayers, God is going to keep presenting this offer to you. But see, the offer is being presented to you. The problem is that you got your, your hands folded up and you're not accepting it because you're still focusing on what these people say. And it doesn't even matter. Or how they feel. Or, if because I know people say, I don't care what this is, but they're still in your energy. So you're going to have to somehow 
do some energy work, some, some cleansing and clearing. These people are in your energy whether you know it or not. And and trust me, the, the thoughts, feelings, and emotions that they're projecting towards you, it's affecting your decision making. Getting tarot card readings on you. Yep. They're getting tarot card readings on you. They're spiritually spying on you to see what your next move is. What are you going to do next? Who are you talking to? Where are you going? What's your next plan? What's your next project? Uh-oh. Some Wow. Someone is doing black magic on you and you have your own worst enemy. These people are their own worst enemy. But again, you're a high priestess, whoever I'm talking You're a high priestess. So when you choose not to walk away from these situations or get these people out of your energy, you then become your own worst enemy because you know what you know. You have to trust what you know. These people, somebody is out here trying to cause your friends and family to be cold towards you. It says here, this is an earth sign. This person is trying to make you tired. Earth sign here and that devil energy, that could be for sure a Capricorn. It doesn't have to be. Somebody could have Capricorn heavily aspected in their chart, but they could be any any sign. But somebody here is causing you to have issues. Again, here we have it. This person could be a fire sign. It doesn't matter. But this is the chaos, the conflict, and them secretly being jealous and envious of you and co competing with you or trying to orchestrate things for other people to be jealous, envious of you or to compete with you. And they're doing black magic by doing things to your mind. These people are watching tarot readings to figure out what's happening in your life and then they're finding the best way to attack you, to try and block you from an offer. So if you're feeling really tired and fatigued, it's because of this. But you also need to not be your own worst enemy and allow yourself to be in this space and place where you are being brokenhearted. Al allowing these three witches, wizards, warlocks, or whomever this little cult or coven is. It's not, for some of you, this isn't a cult or it's not so much that it's a cult or coven. I feel like it's it's literally three, three people in your life. And the reason why it's being... Presented like that is because God is saying, I want you to look at your friendships. I want you to look at your um, romantic relationships. And I want you to look at your family. You have a snake in every single sector. You're fighting against a principality in your family. You're fighting against a copycat friend. And then you're fighting against a lover that just doesn't want you to be loved. You need to see that these are the thoughts, the feelings, and the emotions that these people have for you. And it's trying, Spirit is trying to show you now how important it is for you to change your mindset. You're a high priestess. The high priestess, you will always have to encounter demons, entities, principalities. Some of you are psychic mediums. You have to be very discerning. When you're in the spirit world, you're going to meet a lot of different spirits and all of them aren't good. Some of you now are going to have to see that, okay, you have friends, family, and lovers who are no good. You can no longer keep trying to see the good in these people. You're being asked now to, to spare yourself. The more heartache, pain, and you can't feel guilty for doing this. You have to move forward. There's three little minions here that are occupying space in your mind rent-free and it's blocking you from a passion new beginning where you will receive justice. You're going to have to fully call judgment on all of these situations. And you can't be afraid to do that. You cannot be afraid to see the good in some of these goodbyes. You, you just can't. You have to leave these people alone. You have to leave them behind. It's something much better waiting for you. Look, the goal is for you to get to the blessing. You have to encounter these people. But now where you are in your journey, what God is saying is that I cannot hand you a blessing when you are surrounded by thieves. If they're stealing all of your energy, of course, they're going to steal your ideas. They're going to continue to steal your energy. 
They may want to steal your future partner. They, these people will steal anything from you because they don't have any control. So you're being surrounded by people who have no control. You now have to have self-control. And you have to trust yourself. This is a lesson about you understand the importance of your own well-being, like your spiritual well-being. How to navigate as a high priestess in the world. In the spirit room, some of you are um, being activated. You, you could be astral traveling. When you're astral traveling or anything else, every person, every spirit that you meet is not a good one. And there are a lot of trickster spirits. You have a lot of trickster spirits in your energy. And what spirit is saying, they've been hiding in plain sight as friends, family, and lovers. You got a friend that's keeping tabs on everything that you're doing. They're blocking it. You have a family member that's doing the same thing. You have an ex-lover that's watching, stalking, hacking, and spying. These people are spiritual spies. They're, they're monitoring things in your life. Even if they don't have contact or access to you. They're paying people. They're getting tarot readings. It's because, look, you're about to receive a message. And at the bottom of this deck over here that I'm not using is the Empress. And this is the Empress who's fully in her right and her power. Meaning she has great authority. You're being watched, surveillance, and monitored from people who want to rush in. But they've already been cast out of your life because they chose to be low vibrational and work with the devil. You cannot go back to these people. You have to call judgment. And say, do you want a new life or are you wanting to stay here in karmic land? Where you're going, friends, family members, and lovers, they can't go. They just can't. Because the goal is for you to get the blessing. And the blessing is right here. The blessing is for you to be optimistic, ambitious, a powerful manifester, and to have love and to be in your divine purpose. Whether that's you being single alone or you being with someone. Whether that's you in corporate America or you being a, a hippie. Whatever it is, you're just meant to be in your divine purpose. And the people who you've met along the way, they were props. They, they were trickster spirits. <laughs> So agents of the devil, they were placed here just to teach you certain lessons. That's it. They were only supposed to get you to this place. You're going through a major awakening right now. It's, it's, it's clear when judgment day comes, some, some's going to go up, some going to go down. And you have a lot of these people because they're so narcissistic, because they're energy vampires. And you have this infinite abundance, this pure energy about yourself. They can't go, but you have to be okay with this. These people are already chained to the devil. They're already isolated. They're already kicked out of where you're going. You got out of the matrix that they're still locked in. They cannot go. You have to be okay with that. Because you're receiving a message about your, wow, look at this. Message, journey, and gift. This is 7, this is 10, and this is 17. 7 and plus 10 breaks down to 17. 17 breaks down to the number 8. Some of you, Leo energy could be significant or the month of August. 717 is a very powerful number also for twin flames. And then the number 10 is a number of completion. Something here has completed and it's now making way for your actual divine mission to be revealed to you and for your divine counterpart to enter your life. It's all about your journey and you need to be willing to take the adventure. And it's an adventure of self-love. 
eliminate the stress and go on your self-love healing journey but some of you you're on the journey but you still are trying to drag other people with you and you can't understand why it seems like you can't you can't get over the mountain you need to drop other you got too much stuff in your backpack you packing other people's lunch in your backpack and going hungry that doesn't make sense <laughs> perseverance is here Perseverance is great. You suffering is not. Protest. You're going to have to stand up and fight and have some pride in yourself and stand up for, and fight. Real estate is here. Real estate is not just a house. This is security. It's stability. It's wealth. It's an investment. You're going to have to stand up for yourself and take pride in how far you've come and know that it's time for you. You're something here. It has you bound. It's a monkey on your back at all times. And it's these people that are in your energy. And it's blocking you from your promise. Whatever that is, relationship, marriage, business, just happiness, whatever happiness is for you. But God is your promise from God is it's not blocked it's waiting on you to claim it but to claim it you have to be willing to let everything go and surrender completely because right now you're stressed out you're you're overloaded you're feeling confined because like i said you have something that's weighing so heavily on you you may be feeling very angry or irritated or like you're blocked you're bound you can't move anywhere like you you'll never have any type of freedom it's because you need to withdraw from any and everything that's causing you to feel overwhelmed or stressed out that's not your portion look look at this you have your promise reservation this person obviously is in love with a car so this is something that's extravagant. It's nice. It's something like on your wish list that you truly want. And then eternal love is here. Relaxation. Stubbornness. You cannot listen to these people who are lying to you. They're wearing a mask so that you will put an end to something in your life before you even get it. And here's those people. There's three people here and then one person here. This could be happening in your workplace, your family. It doesn't matter. But these people are committed. They collaborate. And there you have it again. Three. It's three. Three people who you work with because profession is here or three people are consulting professionals to work against you. They have a whole plot, plan and strategy, bribing people, accepting bribes to curse you. Wow. Justice. You're going to have to call for justice for yourself. And that means that, yeah, you may need to be homeless. And what I say about homeless is you're going to have to leave whatever this is that you think is home. You're going to have to leave that job. You're going to have to leave this group of friends, the family, or whatever. Because all these people are fake and phony. And they're collaborating against you to have you stuck in some type of contract where you're bound because they're bound. These people are already chained. They're, they're bound to their own self-limiting beliefs. Their pride, their ego, their insecurities, their stubbornness. They're not going to change. And these are the same people that you go out with and you hang out with or whatever. But you're going to have to be careful with your interactions with these people. These people are experts at being fake and phony. That's a narcissist for you, though. They're, they're, they're like literally they're experts. And even when you think that they are peaceful and, and calm, they're coming up with a strategy. These people are very immature and childish. It's like a child. When you see a child gets quiet, they're coming up with some kind of plan. Some of you need to be more quiet about your plans because you're talking to the enemy. These people are, are making bribes and accepting bribes to literally cause instability in your life so that you will be homeless they want you out of your own contract the goal here is to have you trapped before you reach your goal look at this natural disaster loss compromise these people are trying to cause like a, a disaster in your life they want it to appear natural but it's not these are people who literally are teaming up against you but let's not focus on that. We already know this happening. 
you have a, a beautiful connection or a union here that's coming in for sure. And the you're going to get much closer to it by focusing on self-love, creating boundaries and standing up for yourself, really, really investing in yourself. That's the that's that's what's going to bring you don't have that loud horn. <laughs> Confirmation. This was gonna bring this um true love. <laughs> the horn just blew again. Who blows horns? <laughs> I don't know why this kind of tickled me. It was kind of like a yes. <laughs> I feel like it was. Y'all hear that? I feel like there was a comf like it's confirmation. Like, yeah. <laughs> Get on yourself, your um healing journey, ASAP, okay? I mean, a lot of you, of course, if you're here, you're you're on your healing journey. But I, I just want you to kind of assess and evaluate, maybe redefine what you consider being on a healing journey. Are you applying the information that you are learning or receiving are you are you just taking in information or you know are you applying it are you integrating it are you implementing it in your life knowing what your enemy is doing is not helping you be successful that that's that's one of the most dangerous things about tarot and i i know for as a reader i can't control what comes out in the readings i i, I can i take i to some degree but i can control how people discern decipher and interpret what's coming out and what you take from it hearing what's happening in the background it gives you a leg up but then you still have to do work you still have to have your own method your own strategy to working around this because the truth is this matrix is never going anywhere. This is all just because you got out of it doesn't mean that it's not there. Look at how this person, she's outside of it, but it's still there. It's not like when you jump out of it, it doesn't exist anymore. The devil, he has his own world. People, people always say Satan is the God of earth. That's true. You're just here. You're but you're choosing not to live according to how most people live who really whether knowingly or unknowingly are following the devil. You have wisdom and knowledge but you're the outsider. You shouldn't be but you're considered the outsider. So you have to stop trying to Make everybody else agree with you and your way of thinking and just stay in your own lane. Or else you're going to just go round and round, round and round, because you're not applying these lessons that have been learned. These three people in your life or who are working against you, these are people that you know. These are people that you've had more than one disagreement with, most likely. These are people that you have granted access into your life more than once. Now you're at a crossroads. You're being faced with a choice. You're being initiated. You it's a look, waiting game here in sadness. Like I said, you keep waiting on this manifestation, but you're still surrounded by disappointment, regret, depression, people who fear change. I just get here where somebody really needs to change their friend circle. Take a break from your friends, your family. Stop talking to your exes. These people project fear. And uh, there's, of course, there's a part of you that's still afraid of this new beginning that you have coming in. So when other people get around you and all they know is fear, it only amplifies the fear that's already within you. And before you know it, you're sad, you're disappointed, you're grieving, and you don't even know why. It's because of the company that you're keeping. Some of you are highly, highly sensitive empaths. People around you right now, they are not mentally or spiritually healthy. 
and it's blocking you from these beautiful new opportunities. And if it's not so much people, you still have to be mindful of just your thoughts. Love offer. See, I told you. You have new possibilities. Love offer is here and clean up. And then you have alien here and the devil. I told you. What did I just say? You're an alien here. This is you're on the devil's territory. You're 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 an alien. And they know that. You're not you're not like these other people. So don't they're afraid. That's the reason why they they stick so closely to the devil. You're not fearful, but because you're around so many people who are fearful, your manifestations are being held up. These people are addicted to gossip, to being envious, jealous, copying off of other people. They are codependent. That's why so many of these people are obsessed. Every person that you've encountered, friends, family members, lovers, they become obsessed with you. You're like an alien, literally. You don't fit in because you, you're not meant to. You, you were custom made. You don't need to fit in. This alien also too, the person that's in your life or entering your life, this person, they could be like an alien. They could be a black sheep. Going back to these cards at the very beginning here, focusing on love. This person, they come in. You both are wearing a suit. Both of you are very spiritual. You're, you're, it's two aliens coming together, you could say. This is spiritual. You and this person, you connect to one another's inner child. You connect to one another on a soul level. It's not about this worldly stuff. And this is a kind of connection where a lot of people, they're not going to understand it. It's not for them to understand. This is two people who have been black sheep or alienated because you're choosing to live a set apart life. Who can come together and manifest your dream life if you will let go of the sadness of not being a part of. I guess like what's considered the norm it, it, for some of you, it, it's like it's an energy here where. You want to leave the matrix, but you're a little bit afraid you're, or you're, um, how can I say this? It's lonely. Okay. I'm just going to, I deal with the two. It's lonely. It's like people are making the decision to walk away from what doesn't serve them. But then you're kind of looking back and you're like, well, should I have done that? Because you're lonely. Well, God is about to bring in for some of you, a lover, a new business, children opportunities you're gonna connect with like-minded people you're just in a, a um this is a period of transition it's like right now it's that's why the waiting game is here you're being prepared for something beyond your wildest dreams the wheel is here and the finances and look the missing piece the missing piece that you needed before you could actually experience a lot of these blessings was the fact that you have people around you that are constantly sending you the evil eye. You need to learn how to protect yourself from evil eye and you're getting answers now about these karmic contracts. You're getting answers and receiving spiritual downloads now that are telling you that the reason why your boundaries are being tested it's because you're being taught now how to stand up for yourself. You're being taught how to be authentic, how to stay true to who you are. You're being taught now how to walk away from things and put a, a, a complete end to it. And serendipity is here with luck. So everything is going to happen in perfect timing. Look at this here. These two people, two little butterflies. Two very lucky people coming together. Two very lucky people who have had the same journey. You both hopped out of the matrix. You're alone in the world and you're going to find one another. 
to heal. Your journey to self-love and healing the inner child is going to lead you to your karmic justice. And yes, your karmic justice for many of you, it does. It involves another person. This person is bringing you justice because one of you is coming with heart. The other is coming with root. Because I'm seeing chakras. One of you is coming to open up someone's like... It's like, <laughs> even my mentor explained this to me, like, um, the heart chakra is the bridge between, like, your lower chakras. You and this person come together and you're whole. One of you is more spiritual. One of you is more earthly, more grounded. And that's okay. It's like an alien and an angel. One of you is very grounded. This, you know, root, solar, sacral, not so much just grounded, but the third eye and throat and being authentic and all of that. You and somebody else, the two of you may be very different. But what connects you is love, the heart. It's a true, true, divine, sacred connection here. And it's going to lead to a lot of creativity. You're going to find yourself being more creative. You're going to want to be open to expressing yourself in, in new ways. You're going to want to go to different places and do different things. For you to do all of these new things with a new person, you cannot be surrounded by anyone from your past who's sending you the evil eye, who is allowing entities, demons, and principalities to, to work through them against you. You guys are going to have to see that some of these friends, family members, and, and lovers they have a contract in this lifetime. They work for the devil to work against you. That is their purpose in this, this lifetime. In the matrix, that was the whole reason for them being there was to cause hell for you. That's it. They are never supposed to give you love. The devil is never supposed to make anything happy for you, like happy or good, blessed or abundant for you. His job is to torment you. And nothing or nobody is going to stop that. All you can do is protect yourself. It's the same thing with these people in your life who work with and for the devil. These narcissists. Their job is to torment you. All you have to do is stop employing them. Stop giving them access to you. You need to take some type of risk. Because it's going to bring about good news and allow you to be in your purpose, possibly relocate and be in some type of leadership role or position. The moon is here. Listen to your intuition. There's a painful sacrifice that has to be made here for you to rid yourself of a bunch of toxicity. So you may be experiencing a lot of deep, deep, intense emotions. But just like we saw earlier, where is the card at? It's the seven of cups here with the moon. You have to purge this out. You and the person that you're connecting with. So those of you who are twin flames for sure. As you heal, your person is healing. Because you healing yourself is really healing them. Just like when they heal, it's healing you. If you are in contact or communication with your twin flame, you know who they are. Like I said, one of you is more grounded and the the other one is i'm just gonna say more perhaps more one of you is more spiritually uh, it's something different here you're both very spiritual your connection to spirit though is different so I'll be honest, one of you may be um, more religious while the other one is not. Or one or both of you could be very like spiritual or spiritualist or but like, I don't know. It, you will know the differences between you and this person. Like you could be someone you're not into. Well, if you're watching tarot, you are. But your person may not be into using tools of divination. They may just rely on prayer, fasting alone. And that's okay. This person may be healing. 
things in their uh this person may be healing their inner child something with their heart from their childhood you may be trying to figure out how to not be afraid of commitment or vice versa you know it's but the two of you together it's the perfect combination but you are opposites so don't be afraid to take time out you have time off renewal and learning potential love and then bridge wow bridge and reconciliation and behind here is the hot mess some of you all of this these karmic contracts this causes you to feel like you're a hot mess right now you need that so the, it, it's almost like it's almost like god the universe like mother earth gaia is just like let me just wear you out to force all of the toxicity out of you Sometimes we think that everything is just an attack by the wrong people, but those attacks actually benefit you because it's forcing you to cleanse, clear, cut, relax, release, and allow yourself to be like renewed is what I'm seeing here. There's a major, major... um sacrifice this it has to be made and if you don't make it it's like the universe is going to force you to make it this is probably some of your deepest shadow work that has to happen before you can go into this brand new like life before you can become the star this is you're gonna have to literally like fight your the biggest demon that, that you've encountered thus far. And that usually is going to be your family. Friends. Lovers. The ones that you thought was going to be there to the end. It's a very painful sacrifice here that you have to make. In order for you to see the potential in love. In order for you to learn more about yourself. In order for you to... The bridge is to have another... To go on to a new phase. And when it comes to you and this counterpart. The two of you are going to. Learn how to love in a different way from what you've been taught. And you will have to find a common ground. Because again. One of you is going to be more focused on the mind. While the other is more focused perhaps on the heart. That's what I'm getting. One of you is more emotional while the other... Well, duh, Tori. <laughs> one of you is more emotional while the other one is more logical, more practical. But you balance one another out. But a lot of the chaos around you right now, like I said, it's needed. You needed to find out the truth about the witchcraft, the magic, the illusions, the confusion, the spell work. Some people, they, they don't think that that exists. And if you don't want to say that it doesn't exist, then how can you ever protect yourself from it? So you had to go through these things just for wisdom, knowledge. That knowledge is giving you the power now. Let's see. Inner wow. <laughs> Inner child. I can't make this up. Healing the inner child, doing deep shadow work. Attraction. As you heal the inner child, what you are attracted to and who or what is attracted to you is going to change drastically. That's the reason why before I took a month off, some of my readings before I was talking so much about renouncing yourself from different covenants, pacts, agreements with friends, family members, and lovers, especially for people who are born into karmic families. Your family is so toxic. You carry that same blood DNA. You have to go out in the world and make the choice to say, that's the family that I came from. That's not the family that I'm in or that I'm creating. Because if you come from a family of people who are narcissistic, you're going to attract people who are narcissistic and people who are codependent. Until you decide that 
you do not want to, you don't want to be represented by your own family. Birds of a feather flock together. If you hang out with people who don't want to do anything in life, people are going to assume that you don't want to do anything with your life. You have to go through and clean house now because the truth is, is that you want more. That's the thing. The high priest is you want more. You know that there is more. But what's blocking you is the devil. What's blocking you is this thought that you can have more and still hold on to what doesn't serve you. What I say? Wish fulfillment, but there you have manipulation. Controlling, toxic. It's everything I just said. There's a past life connection here. There's a past life connection that wants to enter your life, but right now you're intro you and this person both perhaps are very introverted. You're closed off. But this has the potential to go look, proposal, marriage, and reconciliation are here. But you have here this green eye monster. Somebody here, for some of you, you have um a past life connection with someone that's karmic to you, low vibrational. They don't want anything to do with you other than to manipulate you, control you, and be toxic. You have a person that's trying to enter your life who is closed off to love because of their childhood wounds just like you are. But they will say that they love you. They do love you. They will chase you. This is a cosmic gift that brings you redemption. Water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Queen of Cups, High Priestess. And, the, and fire. So it could be a water sign and a fire sign. And I said there earlier, it says here, everything is fine. Temperance, Sagittarius, Four of Wands, fire. Water and fire. That's, that's, that's what I'm saying. Water and fire. One of you is more dreamy. The other one is more action oriented. One of you is more uh, emotional. The other one is more logical. It's That's the difference here. But this person is your life partner because they are uh, they're awakening you or you're awakening them. This connection is coming to you to spiritually awaken you, to help you actually see your soul purpose. No, Spirit just said something. <laughs> These karmic people in, with, that was in your life, they were the ones who were there to show you that you had a soul purpose. This person in your life is here to be a part of your purpose. Know the difference. And know that you don't have to go through a bunch of suffering to be loved. That's what these karmic people, friends, family members, and lovers have taught you. That to learn a lesson, you have to have a tragic story. No. Some of you really do have a fairy tale love story, and it doesn't start out with a tragedy. Train your mind to believe that. I hope this resonated with you guys.